Hey diamonds and gems, it's your girl Sadia. Today I wanted to talk to you about some eyeshadow that I was gifted from uh, one of my lovely diamonds, Miss Bev. And she purchased this for me and this is a Pat McGraw palette. Now this palette, well Pat McGraw, she is considers herself the mother of the runway. She is highly respected. And one day I hope to aspire to be on her level of beauty. Uh, beauty, what should I say? Beauty banging, beauty. Just the bomb. Let's just say I just aim to be, I hope to be the bomb like her one day. So I tried, this is my second attempt to do this video. Yesterday I did it. It went, it, the video, I just don't know what happened. So I'm back. And when I tell y'all, I had to come back and show off this palette. This palette is called Subversive. Subverse. Subversive. Sorry, y'all. Getting all tad tongue. But when I tell y'all, I used this yesterday and I was shook. The pigments in this is so freaking beautiful. I'm going to just do a couple swatches for you all. I'm like, oh my goodness, you can do an easy peasy eye. <laughs> easy peasy eye. With not a lot of time or effort. That is, look how... Y'all, I was shook. Hold on. Let me get this last little color in. Let me get this last little color. Y'all, listen here. Serious. Serious pigment. I just wanted to, I wanted to show y'all this. And I just wanted to show, like, the minimal effort that I put just on the my eyes. And they were just so cute. So, I'm going to start by using this eyeshadow brush and I think this is by Sonia is it oh lord I'm gonna jack up her name I'll put it in the description below so I want to start with this blue okay okay I'm gonna rub this in here rub it in there real good uh oh I meant to put something up under my eyes to protect this face I just did y'all hold on hold on I don't even have my mirror in place Y'all, when I tell y'all, I was so shook. Like, I knew that uh, the shadow palette would be great. And I actually went and bought more. <sighs> That'll be another video. I can't talk too loud because I don't want my family to know my purchases. My purchases on impulse. <laughs> so, again, I'm rubbing in this blue color here on my eyeshadow brush look at that pigment y'all look oh my gosh and you hardly have any fallout hold on let me move this over so y'all can see this I need y'all to see all this goodness do you see this now look I want y'all to see how far this goes now I will say that you need to use a primer with it even though I skipped that part. Y'all. Y'all. <laughs> this is not me going, this is one swoop of that eyeshadow loaded on my eyeshadow brush and it is beautiful. Oh. I'm trying to push my little lashes out the way. <sighs> That's just one touch. Y'all, I think this palette was like, because she had a sale. It was like, it looked like it could have been like $14, maybe $15. Look at that. Look at that. Now, if you ever had to, like, if you ever tried to do like a blue eyeshadow, Sometimes you gotta go in and really pack that color on. It takes forever. That is one time in there. Okay, I was talking to my good friend Tamika and I was seeing if I wanted to do a blue on one side and the purple, well this purple, wait, which purple? This purple. I thought about doing a purple on this side on the other eye because I wanted to see if I could pull this purple as, you know, easy as I did this blue but she said I should do yellow and now that I have this pink lip on I'm thinking I might do purple 
and I do yellow in the middle. So I'm gonna load this brush up again with this color. And another good thing, like I said, you really don't have any fallout from this. This is beautiful. Tamika, I'm sorry. I know I said I was thinking about doing yellow, but Lord have mercy. I'm in love with purple. <sighs> Y'all, it's going on. It's going on like butter. It's going on like butter. <gasps> okay, that was probably an ugly face. An ugly face for a pretty shadow. That's when you know it's cute. You be making faces like, oh my gosh. Now, I do feel like for this purple, I want to load some more color on that brush. But my goodness. Just for that to be one, just one time in there, that is bomb. But I think I'm going to go again in this purple a little bit more. Just a little bit more. Oh, yes. Anything. Now, I will tell you all. My favorite eyeshadow palettes are by Anastasia. I love, I just love their formula. I love how it goes on. I love how it blends. Whew. I might be, I don't know, y'all. Pat, I about whatever. You are the mother. Look how that is now granted I did go a couple more times in that purple than I did that blue but that is still that is still really nice and the fact that you don't have like a lot of fallout yo that's even better I am going to use this small little bullet brush because I'm gonna put some waffle house yellow it's like no it's not called waffle house <laughs> I want to try this yellow in the crease. This is so... Have you tried this palette before? Have you tried any of her products? Let me know in the description. And let me know what I should try that I haven't tried. Because I am shook, honey. Or do you have any eyeshadows that you think uh, may be better than this? I don't know... I have never, I have never seen an eyeshadow that blends in so quick and it's not, it's not messy. Like this is not messy at all. Heck, if you wanted to go in with your finger, hold on, let me, let me move this over a little bit. If you wanted to put this on with your finger, you could. This is like QI minimal effort. Let's see what the yellow look like on this other side. A lot of times when I try palettes, I will try to see what I can work with in the palette before I start incorporating other things. Cause you just wanna see how that color thing works. Now I will say first glance, well, well that's not bad. I like, I don't know. Do you like the yellow with the, the gold with the purple or do you like it? More with the blue. I think I like it with the blue. The blue makes me feel like a peacock. That is pretty. I don't know. I think I, I think I'm feeling that. I do think I want to add something here to just kind of soften this line in my crease area. But I'm like really, I'm really feeling this. Y'all feeling this? Y'all gonna be going over there to buy her eyeshadow palettes, and they just had a a a, a sale. Don't be mad at me, y'all, cause y'all gonna be like, "Why y'all telling us? Why you telling us about this now?" And the sale is over. Sorry, I'm sorry. I'm just using this Black Radiance. Uh, it's a contour palette. I was using the sculpting side that I used on the rest of my face. I'll show it to you real quick. Just want to soften this line up. Let me use a different brush. I don't want that brush. So this is a black radiance. And I'm using this brown right here. Just to soften it because I actually use that brown in my contour. 
And again, I just wanted to see what this do. What it do. Soften up that line. If you wanted to do something and you didn't want to go too heavy, you want to do a quick eye, I think this is the bomb. You know what I'm missing. I need to put on my eyeliner just to make sure. Just to make sure. I'm just moving that out a little bit. Y'all, this is bomb. Let me see if I can smudge this under my eye a little bit and see how it look. Uh, okay. I know normally you wouldn't go out with two different eye colors, but when you're testing out palettes, it's just easier to do both sides. You can just do it, knock it out. Let's see, I'm gonna go with the blue over here. That is pretty. That is so pretty. Okay, now I'm just, I have no plans here. I have no plans. I'm just literally playing in color with this palette. Let's do purple on this other side. Come on, purple. Oh, shoot. I will say the purple doesn't move as smooth, but it's still the bomb. It's like worth the wait. Ooh. Look, I'm like, do I want to put some yellow here? Y'all, am I tripping? This is like really pretty to me. I'm going to bring that yellow down. And this is not me. When I tell you, I like to go into like real detail on eyes. And this palette is so bomb that you don't need to go too hard. Okay, I think I'm gonna meet this one with the purple underneath. And on the other side, blue. Let's see. Oh, she cute, she cute. She cute. I thought, well, I thought I was. I think this is so easy like for a person who is not like really um good at eyeshadow placement now you don't have to do all the stuff that i'm doing at the bottom this is just me this is just me being me as an artist see that blue go on you just touch that blue a little bit and it's like bam All right, y'all, I'm back. I had to concentrate doing that eyeliner. Oh my gosh. And that mascara. What do you think? I mean, quick party look. Literally, this look is not taking me long. So I think I want to 
diffuses black radiance. And I know I came to chat with y'all about that Pat McGraw, but now I feel like I'm in my zone and I just wanna keep going. Going in with this purple. Every time I do my highlight or my cheeks, I have to like smile weird, real weird in the camera. Like, well, not the camera, the, the mirror. Like, yeah, get me right there. Like it. Get that placement down. Mm. She cute. That is so pretty. What do y'all think? What do y'all think about that highlight? The purple highlight. Is it too much? Is it okay? I think I'm gonna just top this off with a little blush. I just gotta. No, I just, I thought I was coming just to talk about one thing, but you know, I gotta finish this look up cause I might take some pictures or whatever. But please let me know in the description below, like what products have you tried uh, of Pat McGraw? And let me know if, what is your favorite uh, eyeshadow? Who makes your favorite eyeshadow? And why is it so good? Maybe I need to try it. I feel like they have a, uh, Pat McGraw has a new uh, fan for a shadow. I knew it would be good, but I didn't know it would be that good. Usually when I do uh, makeup, I like to do eyes first. And I do eyes first because usually you get that fallout from the shadow and you have like that darkness around the eyes. Literally, I have no fallout. I, I did my foundation first today because I was like, I don't wanna come on here looking half done let's see i'm just smoothing out my little blush what do you think okay i am going to get out of here that this is the milani make it last i used it before i used it after i put on my foundation um thank y'all for chatting with me Help a sister out. Let me know what other good eyeshadow products that you like far as eyeshadow. Again, Anastasia. I don't even want to put was my favorite. Pat McGough is like, she like, she like that close to, let me just say it. No, no, no. Let me buy like some more, well, she might have that number one spot, so. I hope y'all try this product. I hope you like this video. Make sure you give me a thumbs up, share, make sure you subscribe, and I will see you next time. Deuces.